This is a video tour of 405 Sierra Drive. You've got a 3D composition roof, a two car garage, and brick facade here on the front. I'm gonna turn and give you a view of the neighborhood. The yard is really green and lush. Neighborhood is cute. Got some big mature trees across the street. And then you intersect here with trail, which is a little bit busier street, but not too bad. All right, so walking up to the front door, you can see we've got a little bit of landscaping going on. Um, downspouts are buried out and we have an alarm system in the property. So here's the front door. Okay, so when you walk in the front door, directly to my left is the living room and it is a step down into the living room here. And you can see there's a little bench seat that's got some tiling on it going out the window. And you have a fireplace in this living room, vaulted ceilings, which does make it feel a bit larger. You have popcorn ceilings throughout the property. Walking closer to the fireplace, it looks like they've kind of frosted the brick a little bit. And it looks like a gas log insert fireplace. You've got bookshelves on either side. Um, they appear to be fitted to the wall. So I'm not sure if they're completely attached or not, but it looks like they are built-ins. So then turning from the living room, looking towards the front door here, and you can see right as you come in the front door, you have the option of coming to the living room, going upstairs, going downstairs, or going into the garage. And so this is kind of a view towards the upstairs. So walking back towards the front door, you've got a pergo wood flooring here in the entryway. Uh, and you can see stairs going downstairs and going upstairs. So a bit of a split entry as you come in. The garage is directly to the right of the front door. So here is a view into the two car garage. Pretty standard. So pulling back out of the garage and we are going to now go upstairs. Um, as you can see, you've got this striped sort of painting going on on the walls up here. I do wanna point out that you've got some settling cracks on this upper part. So you can see the attic fan here in the ceiling and you've got settling cracks off these edges here. So when you get to the top of the stairs, directly to the right is the master bedroom. If you turn to the left, it goes down into uh, the hallway bathroom and another bedroom. So we're going to go into the master first. Here is a view of the master bedroom from the door. It does have a ceiling fan in it, as you can see. And it is a double closet that has kind of like a pass-through here. Um, so a little bit more storage than it appears to have due to that. And as you can see, they've taken the doors off. Here is the view out of the side bedroom window. And that's a good close-up of that 3D composition roof. You can see all of the stuff that's on top of this roof and in the gutters. You have a very large, your neighbor has a very large tree that overhangs the top of this house. And so stuff has fallen in the gutters from that. So scanning around here. And we're going to head towards the bathroom. Um, windows in the property seem to be wood cased and single pane windows. And this window goes out facing west and into the backyard. So into the bathroom, you've got a gray and white tile floor. 
and you can see you have a little kind of counter space here and storage on this side. Um, you can see the doors open. I think it's just because there's stuff in it. I think it would probably close if there wasn't stuff in it. Um, and then to my left here is a second closet that's um, smaller than the first, but a good second amount of storage there. So then going towards the bathroom, you can see you've got lap board siding on this back wall and subway tile in this bathroom. And then this bathroom curves out into the hallway. So you share the upstairs bathroom with the hallway. The master shares it, the hallway, and with this other bedroom. Here is a view off of the ledge. So you can see down into the living room space, the step down that I talked about there when I first came in, and to the view of the front door area. Okay, so second bedroom in the house on the second level. It's a pretty good size bedroom. And turning, you've got a closet in here that's got some built-ins. And again, the door has been removed from the closet. Here's the view out of this window, again, into your backyard space. Okay, so moving out of this bedroom, we are going to go down the stairs and into the lower level of the house. So you're kind of split into three levels. The main level just has the living room, upper level has the bedrooms and a bathroom. Your lower level has the dining room and the kitchen and an office and a bathroom. So here is the view from the stairs. You've got wood look tile on the floor down here. And you can see the kitchen is nicely updated. You have a relatively deep pantry here, um, kind of under the stairs storage. And then another view of the kitchen. So very bright Formica countertops. Yes. Um, stainless steel appliances and then furnace and water heater are actually located here just right inside the kitchen and you can also see you have a stackable washer and dryer separated by this small wall in between uh, the refrigerator area so this is the view from with my back on the counter to that washer and dryer area Okay. All right, so walking around the countertop and we're gonna finish the inside of the house and then we'll go to the backyard. So I am now walking south in the house and to my right is the second bathroom in this property. So this is a three quarter bath, subway tile shower can see the, a little bit of open storage there. And then into the last room in the property. So it looks like that back wall has a painted texturization to it. And then you actually have a chalkboard wall on this side. And this window looks directly out into the backyard onto the back deck. So this is one of the legally conforming bedrooms. You can see you've got a little bit of closet space here. And inside this closet, you can see they've got radon. Radon mitigation, and it looks like it's reading well. So that's good. All right, so headed back out, and we are going to go to the backyard now. It's got a pretty heavy sliding glass door. Walking into the backyard. You have a fully privacy fenced in backyard 
with some mature trees in it and you can see some stonework that's happened here you have a bit of a poured patio when you first walk outside and then obviously this really nice um deck that's been created which the deck was clearly painted and sealed at some point um you can see where it's kind of worn off in a couple places but overall seems to be holding up really well little bit of seating here and you can see some wood rot going on there but view of the backyard you do have an electrical box back here and then this loops around and you can see another pretty large mature tree here and a bit of some rock coming off the side of the property so here is a view of the back of the house and that's it. Let us know what you think.